tonight, one of the most famous pieces of art in all the world. Van Gogh painted it in 1889 while he was staying at an asylum in the south of France, suffering from hallucinations, recovering after he cut off his ear. It was the beginning of a depression that would haunt him for the rest of his life. Art historians say Van Gogh painted what he could see out his window, the rolling hills blending into the dark sky, a scene so captivating it makes you almost feel like you can step into the painting. And now you can. It's part of a massive new attraction on the Vegas Strip called Area 15. And CNBC's Contessa Brewer is there right now. Hey, Contessa. Hi, Shep. Area 15 opened last fall amid a pandemic. It's part art gallery, part theater, part theme park, and part, I don't know, rave? It's filled with mind-blowing experiences driven by 21st century technology. But one portal takes you right into the 19th century, right into the paintings of Vincent Van Gogh. Swirls of sound, a cacophony of color, an explosion of experience. A wheat field comes to life. Van Gogh's self-portraits, and perhaps the artist's best-known work. Oh, uh, this is Starry Night. Oggs White came with his brother AJ and his dad from Salt Lake City to see Van Gogh. If you come here and see this, you'd be like, oh, that's so cool. It's moving. It's moving for their grandpa, too. Don White found something three generations of family could just sit and enjoy together for more than an hour. They don't want to leave, so really enjoy it, and it's great to have... Uh, prime time with them for me. What's the common draw across age, race, and background? I asked the man who brought immersive Van Gogh to the United States. I think it's a combination of the immortal nature of his works, um, the accessibility of his works, uh, his personal story, which a lot of people know about, um, as well as um, the times in which we're living. I'll pick up my pencil. There's pent up demand for art and culture. And this exhibit was designed for social distance even before the pandemic. So patrons can have space to feel the art. With a light, fine gold. We'll remember this one for a long time and talk about it. Immersive experiences with the power to inspire, heal, and motivate. But what we focus on is the adventurer, the curious, the person who wants to discover something and wants to be transformed. And that is swelling music to add to my story. <laughs> Crescendo on command. You gotta love it. Immersive Van Gogh made its North American debut this week in Las Vegas, but it's scheduled for Atlanta, New York, several other American cities. If you come to Area 15 in Vegas, I suggest you dress the parts because, you know, when in Vegas, it was everybody else is doing. Yeah, but Chip? what happens there does not stay there, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Contessa, <laughs> yellow-headed Contessa, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.